Good morning, it is Friday the 9th of August and it is raining. Um, I am about to head off to the British Wool Show which is in Merton which is just outside York. Uh, they do a free bus service so I'm going to be going on my Todd uh, with my camera and I'm going to be filming some of the vendors, I'm going to be squishing yarn, going to be buying yarn. Yeah, let's do this. So I am wearing my Tegna. Doo -doo -doo. Um, yeah. More about that on an upcoming podcast. Can you see the beautiful view out my window? I like my new house. Okay, well, time to get an umbrella and head on to the wool show. See you. Finally got here, bit of a mix up with the buses, but we found them eventually. Just about to go in and have a look around. Lots of yarn to squish, lots of sheep. To squish. Oh, this is dangerous that you're the first one I come to. <laughs> Oh, this is dangerous. Hang on, let me get this up. So the first stall I find is Ducky Darlings. They're literally around the corner from the entrance. This is dangerous. Right. Can say hi? Hi! This is Hayley. <laughs> this is so new, this whole podcasting thing. Oh, look at the peaches. No. I was like, I need peach today. <laughs>
first one, which is limited edition. Lovely. But we're about to bring out um, uh, a little book called Fry Regent Abbey's. And this is, these are all based on, um, this is based on Sherbrooke, actually show. Oh. And we've been around taking pictures of all the art, <laughs> of all the art. Well, no, I happen to see. And, uh, as you can see, these are the windows. And that's beautiful. I absolutely love that. I love the orange as well, the burnt orange. When my designer came and said she wanted orange, I said, oh no, no. you can't do a jumper in, all in orange. And when she brought it back, I dragged it out of her bag. I dragged it. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. And you guys are Dalton Blue. And, and this lot here, this is... Uh,
striping yarn. And this is Liz. It is. Hi. Hi. Um, so we're at the British Wool Show in York 2019. Um, it's our first year actually here. Uh, and I brought actually all my sock samples, which correspond to all the colours in the, in the cubes. Um, I've got some new colours this month, actually, the last four weeks. I dyed up, this is probably four weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. Um, this, which is called Party Yarn. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not strictly the stripes, and not strictly the same size as the regular stripes. Um, and there's the odd bit of pattern in there as well. I just wanted something a little bit different. So nice. It's really cool. And more recently, and it's been super popular online, it's the new Rainbow. Um, and it's 16 stripes from end to end, even though you can't really see the last one very well. But you can see it's just about to change back to the yellow. Um, and it's called Double Rainbow because there's a bright stripe, then a slightly darker tone, um, which, which I think is quite cool because it em emphasizes sort of every other stripe. It's really nice. I spent a bit of time winding balls. Because the gobstopper like balls them. are yeah. absolutely beautiful. They are. I do like the look of them. They are quite time consuming, yeah. but it's nice to have them around. People like to pick them up as well because they like to start knitting straight away. Yeah. Um, and you can go and have your, your whiskey and wind up very kindly by uh, WI or the Guild, the Open District Guild Spinners and Weaver. It's really cool. Turns um, out the winding skeins. Oh, I can't see anything. Well, that was British Wool Show. I'm all spent up. I'll be doing a haul video shortly. Um, but now I'm, the sun is shining, so I'm going to go home and um, get this uploaded. See you later. Bye.